Hello, this is Nathaniel Frank, Regional Service Manager for Libri Plus. Today we're going to talk about hydraulic valve adjustment for the Libri Helping Hand Arm. Refer to Libri Plus Technical Service Bulletin 15-02 for further information. Information includes specifications and cycle times, as well as required tools to perform this action. We begin this process by removing the Libri Helping Hand rear valve access cover. With this swung open, we can see all the various components for the valve. The end plate, gauge port, main relief, and each individual section. Note that the in, out, up, down sections have non-adjustable port reliefs. The next step is to install the threaded handle into the end cap of the Danfoss valve section. Please note, for ease of viewing for this video, we have threaded it into the gripper valve section. Continue by affixing a 0 to 4,000 psi pressure gauge. Utilizing either the arm in out or arm up down section, hold the valve section over a leaf and measure your reading. Compare this reading with the specifications given in the Technical Service Bulletin and adjust accordingly. Adjust the main relief of the valve on the inlet section by rotating clockwise to increase the pressure or counterclockwise to decrease the pressure. Now we can move on to gripper adjustments. Same process applies. Move the valve into one direction and adjust the pressure for fully open and the opposite direction for fully closed. Note that Labrie sets all units from the factory at a specified value. That value may need to be increased or decreased dependent on can type. Occasionally, an operator could complain of slow cycle time. Be wary and always verify pressures prior to making any other adjustments. Also, use a stopwatch and verify the cycle times are in line with TSB 15-02. On the back of the Danfoss valve, you'll note that there are two adjustments for each individual section. Those adjustments control the distance the spool travels, therefore varying the flow. Adjustments can be made by turning the adjustment screw counterclockwise to increase the flow or clockwise to decrease the flow. Special care should be taken when making this adjustment. The reason for this is that one should never max out or fully counterclockwise rotate the adjuster for spool control all of the way. The reason for this is the internal locking mechanism that actuates the spool can actually come into contact with the back portion of the cover. Removing the back cover allows us to see this actuator. Thank you for watching this Libri how-to video.